So, I did the one video, got two more coming up. This time we're doing another meat snack, Great Canadian Meat Barbecue. Now, I like barbecue, but it can be a wide range of flavors, but they all have a sort of similar theme, smokiness. This has a bit of a smoky, savory smell. It's not as strong as I would like, but it is a very pleasant aroma. These are what the cuts look like. Kind of about a I almost dropped it on the floor fortunately it landed between my legs. Kind of a, I don't know. I'm terrible when it comes to guessing lengths. Um Maybe a little over an inch long. A little under an inch long, I don't know. But they all seem to be uniformly cut. Let's give it a try. Very chewy. Somewhat leathery. Flavor is there, but not as strong as the aroma would say. Kind of a bit of a sweetness to it that one would expect from a more of a sweeter barbecue sauce. Something that says can say maybe contains a um, little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of maple, a little bit of honey. And if I had to guess, I would say brown sugar. So, now that I'm eating the second one, I'm reminded a little bit of maple syrup, but it's barely detectable. the point of if I'm wondering if I'm actually detecting it, there's a saw popped into my mind and that's why I'm detecting it. I'm gonna read the ingredients. There's apple juice, soy sauce, cider, so apple juice and cider, Cane sugar, brown sugar, there you go. Molasses, garlic, and a bunch of other junk. Well, junk that's, you know, if I were making my own beef jerky, I wouldn't add. Probably wouldn't add it, you know, if they'd ever made my own beef jerky. It's a little disappointing. I was hoping for something more. Final rating, um, sixty six out of a hundred. 
in regards to changing it, I could go either way. I could write it a little higher, I could write it a little lower, I don't know it. <coughs> so I'm trying to average it out, and the average is about 66. Well, I recommend it, um... Why not? I definitely recommend it if it were on sale. But... I mean, there are better, but I'm guessing this is somewhat of a smaller company, but by no means a family-owned operation when compared to something like Jack Links. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and bye.